Hey everybody, welcome back to Amateur Hour. Today we're going to be cleaning up this big mess. Uh, this is the tool post off the Bradford lathe. I haven't messed with this at all since I got the lathe and I'm not even completely sure how it works. So uh, hopefully we'll figure that out in the process of taking it apart. Of course, first things first, let's get the cutting tools out of it. Wow. Need a bigger wrench. From the feel of it, this was probably torqued down while it was still in the carriage, so... Lubrication and persuasion. Little cutter out of the tool post. It's not in terrible shape, actually, apart from the rust. But uh, it looks like maybe a piece of high-speed steel welded onto uh, a more mild blank. Same, same. Also, it looks pretty good. Here's the third and last one. This one isn't doing so good. It's got a big chunk missing out of the tip. So this is going to get tedious real quick. So I'll be back with you once I get all these bolts out. I hope anybody who's following along with the lathe restoration is enjoying this filler episode. If you're a nerd like me, you may know that when anime series are waiting for the comic books to catch up, they put a bunch of filler episodes in. In my case, I'm waiting on bearings. Alright, so that's all the bolts I can get out. Uh, there's a few of them that are trapped by the lever up here. Just a quick tour around this thing. We have a uh, grease zerk right there. The base of it's cast, and there's a shaft right here, and it looks like a giant screw of some kind. So to keep this show on the road, I guess we'll start at the obvious place right here at the top. Bolts are out, but that doesn't seem to be making anything want to move very easily. Let's get this. Uh-oh. I hear a spring. I feel a spring. This is going to go, oh, okay. Well, it didn't go shooting across the room. That got it. So the way this thing seems to work is, is you unlock it, and that allows you to spin the post with the tools on it to bring the tool that you want into position, and then you just close it. Pretty cool. My bet is this spring uh, is used to push on a ball that will detent into the bottom of this block so that it locks into a 90 degree position. So to get the head off, we're just going to keep spinning it on this thread. You hear it clicking. So we know at the top of the thread. There's that. It's pretty clean on the inside, fortunately. Very dry though, probably should have a lot more grease in it than this. Okay, we got some screws in the top here. Next to the screws there are two cavities, it looks like for some kind of a wrench. That's cool. This is pretty cool. So this has a section that's been sliced out of it right here. And it goes a little over halfway around the ring. And these two set screws close that gap and cause this collet here to pinch down onto the thread that runs along the inner diameter here. So this actually secures itself on the threaded shaft by setting itself with these two set screws. That's freaking cool. Apologies if this is an old hat to some of you guys, but I've never seen anything like this, so this is super cool to me. All right, with that collet off, there we go. Neato. Okay, so that's a part enough to get all the pieces clean. So we'll clean them up, dump them in some evaporust, get rid of some of the surface rust, 
and then uh, look into how we're going to repaint it. But uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you've seen that about a gajillion times by now, I'm sure. Well, speak of the devil. Bearings.